I received today a, sir, a, a petition from Jim Keffer, state representative from Texas, signed by 969 other good Texans urging me to support this balanced budget amendment. Mr. Speaker, I would encourage all of my colleagues to think about the future of this country. How much better off uh, will this country be with the balanced budget amendment? This is the only thing that we are contemplating doing over the next 15 years that has a remote chance of fundamentally changing for the better the future that my seven grandchildren face. It is a bleak future they face today. We can fundamentally change that future for the spending, the spending efforts of this country with a balanced budget amendment that will force us to do the things that everybody else does. The decisions that will have to be made to balance our budget are no different with or without the balanced budget amendment. They are hard. They are difficult. And, uh, and I've got $15 trillion worth of evidence that we're not, doing those tough, we're not making those tough decisions without the balanced budget amendment. Technically, we could get it done, but we're not getting it done, and we are at absolutely no path to get that done.